Montana's main budget bill is one step closer to final approval after the Senate passes House Bill 2 today. Jonathan Amberian was there for the debate. The Montana Senate spent about four hours Thursday approving its own version of House Bill 2, which lays out $12.6 billion in state spending over the next two years. HB 2 passed 34 to 16 in a preliminary vote. Then, senators suspended the rules and immediately passed it in a final vote, 33 to 17. I'm pleased with the work that was done, the negotiations that took place with the second floor, the agreements that were reached between the minority and the majority party. During the floor debate, Democratic senators made several attempts to add additional funding for things like services for people with disabilities, tuition assistance, and school meal programs. They all failed to pass. The closest vote was on an amendment to add a million dollars for suicide prevention programs. Supporters said the funding would have helped address a crisis in Montana, but opponents said the state was already funding prevention efforts, and there needed to be a clearer idea of how that money can be used effectively. We've tried to get a handle on this. Throwing more money out for suicide prevention feels good, but what are we getting for the money? The data might be hard to, to find, but if the data is one person, that we've saved their life. That could be your family member, that could be um, someone in your family, a friend, community member. It's worth it to me. Republican Senator Brad Molnar of Laurel also brought an amendment seeking to eliminate all funding for Medicaid expansion. It failed 20 votes to 30. HB 2 is usually the centerpiece of the legislative session, but this year it's only part of a much bigger budget picture coming together in the final days. That also includes billions of dollars in federal COVID relief and the final decision on what to do with recreational marijuana revenue. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. The Senate's version of the bill is similar in size to what the House approved, but has differences in some of the specific appropriations. They'll have to work those out. Senate President Mark Blasdale said it's expected the House will reject the Senate's amendments and send House Bill 2 to a conference committee to work out the final version.